Why isn't coronavirus like flu? And, and the reason is because people say flu has a death rate of about one-tenth of a percent, and even that is not really clear exactly how they're calculating it. But the coronavirus has at least 10 times as much of a death rate. So it's, it's more than 1%, they say two, between 2 and 4%. And uh, really, the best information is close to 4%. So it's like 40 times the death rate of the flu. But that's not all. Um, about 10% of people that have the coronavirus, they have to go into intensive care, being on ventilators. Uh, and 20% are in hospitals. And that's totally different. That would overwhelm hospitals. And the other thing is that flu kind of has this rate that it is in the population, whereas the coronavirus is just explosively growing and it could easily in fact, you know, as far as we know, all of the population, there's surely no limit that we've seen to how rapidly it's growing. So it grows at a rate of 1.5 per day times. And, and that means that over a week it grows at say a factor of 20 over two weeks at a factor of 400 over a month while it's well over 10,000. And, and so we have to figure out both um, uh, the rate of growth and the death rate and the severe illness rate in order to understand the difference between flu and the coronavirus.